Good afternoon and welcome back to another ironic introduction to another video. Today I'm going to be going through Platinum Pool's abilities as fast as possible. Use the timestamp in the description below to skip straight to my first impressions and thoughts. That said, I'm going to go ahead and do Platinum Pool. His abilities, God, get your head out of the gutter. Platinum Pool is a mutant champion with an attack of 2,076, notably the bottom five. His health is 31,398, about average, and his PI is 10,650, top five at the time of making this video. His passive is while auto fighting, the fight is accelerated. Additionally, pretty much all of his bleeds will scale with special attack damage. He has a passive battle realm deck, which you can have a max of six cards active. He draws three cards before each fight, gaining three random effects at the start of a fight. Four card rarities exist, brown pants, common, rare, and epic. The rarity of a card affects the chances it will be drawn. Brown pants cannot be drawn at base, and epic cannot be drawn on the last node of a quest. Common can be duplicated. This is not affected by ability accuracy modification. When he is brought below 35% max HP, he gains a regen buff for 8 seconds. When he is knocked down, there's a 25% chance he'll draw a card. His basic attacks pause personal bleeds for 1 second, and his heavy attacks, the first hit grants a prowess buff, prowess buff for 10 seconds. His special 1 inflicts a bleed, which is 16 seconds long, and his special 2 is if the opponent is bleeding, it inflicts a 2 second stun. If his dance is completed, he draws a card. Every time you draw a card this way, a chance to draw a brown pants card increases. While defending, brown pants cards cannot be drawn. Once per fight, if the dance is interrupted, he gains a regeneration buff for 8 seconds. His special 3 inflicts a 32 second bleed, discards all active cards, and draws 3 more. His his awakened ability unlocks a very low chance to draw the legendary boost card, increasing potency of all common cards effects by 60% as well. Uh, that's not the legendary boost card, that's just a part of the awakened ability. The cards are, for brown pants, reduced platinum pools, block proficiency, perfect block chance, critical rating, and power rate by 100% for 8 seconds. This does not count towards the max 6. The commons are attack, heal, stun, power, and special attack boost. Essentially, they all increase the benefits of those effects. Uh, but also the stun uh, decreases stun duration and the power boost is also a power gain buff as well. The rare cards are blood drive while the opponent is bleeding and platinum pool has less health than the opponent percentage wise. The attacks, his attacks inflict a bleed buff. Throwing fists, you gain up to 200% increased special attack based on the combo meter up to 200 hits. Every 15 hits in either Platinum Pool's or the other champion's combo meter, Platinum Pool goes unblockable for 3 seconds. Payback. When Platinum Pool hasn't been attacked for 7 seconds, he gains a payback passive for 5 seconds. After this expires, he gains a regeneration buff recovering all damage while payback was active, and he inflicts a bleed buff dealing 75% of all the damage taken while this passive was active. Sumo Pool. While either champion has a Fury, Platinum Pool becomes unstoppable against the last hit of a special one, special two, and heavy attack, and this hit cannot exceed 15% of the opponent's attack while Platinum Pool is either in either corner. He gains a Fury buff, increasing attack rating until he leaves the corner. And then Epic Cards are Special Surprise, which when activating a special attack, he gains one buff for each bar of power filled by the opponent, lasting six seconds. The buffs he can gain include Fury, Precision, Cruelty, Prowess, Unblockable, Indestructible, and Unstoppable. And the other Epic Card is Mode Mixer, which rotates through Light, Medium, Heavy, and Special modes on a 10 second rotation and the attacks associated with each mode gains increased attack rating while all other attacks have an 80% reduced attack rating that is platinum pool as fast as possible well there's a lot to read so don't blame me as far as first impressions and thoughts this guy looks like a total meme but i can't wait to have him i uh, normally don't go through synergies on these because i want to evaluate champions like by themselves but he's got a lot of really cool synergies that affect the cards and it's just really really neat because essentially the synergies match where he's essentially stealing that card from like blood drive uh is really cool because while the opponent is bleeding platinum pool has less health uh he his attacks inflict a bleed buff right um so that's from rogue kind of like a health stacking thing star lord which is throwing fists is all about like that combo meter right to gain special attacks so that's like a star lord centric thing magic like literally uh payback sounds like limbo uh you know you deal damage to the opponent and you heal for damage taken etc uh and he's got that with magic dr doom uh the sumo pool card you know doom's got while well, he's at the or of hazaroth up uh special attacks and heavy attacks the last hit he's unstoppable against so that's really cool here with platinum pool uh 
Uh, then Scarlet Witch with Special Surprise and Joe Fix It with Goodfella and the Mode Mixer. It's just really, really neat. I think it adds a lot of flavor. Uh, so I wanted to mention that as well. Uh, but overall, I think this guy, you know, he's not going to have like crazy utility. I think he's going to be really, really fun to play. But I think the biggest thing that's going to make him just like really, really, really cool is using him in auto fight. Uh, and I really wonder if, like, depending on how fast this is, because this could be, like, crazy fast. If they, like, hardcore super speed it, I could see a lot of people wanting a five-star maxed out plat pool just to, like, auto fight through, like, heroic and master events or lore quests just for giggles uh, and just have him cruise through no problem uh so i'm definitely interested in how that will work out the only thing i'm like majorly disappointed about is i don't see nick fury synergy here and i would have really really liked to have that extra option hopefully it does get added and it's just not here um but there is going to be a free-to-play approach to getting him as well as a little bit of pay-to-play approach to get him as well uh i'm guessing the pay-to-play is going to have a big impact but we'll see we'll see uh so yeah i will personally be going for platinum pool even if it's just for the meme this guy looks hilarious uh uh, and I really, really like the addition to the game. Uh, but, you know, let me know what you're thinking. Are you going for Platinum Pool? Do you, you only plan on going for him if you can get him for free? You know, what do you think about him? Do you think he's a meme? Do you think he's mostly hilarity and auto fight? Or do you think, you know, maybe he's got some kind of crazy OP strength or like some kind of crazy defense value? Um, I think the defense value is worth mentioning, but there's a lot of RNG there. And that could just be ridiculous. That said, as always, I hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you all later. Peace.